We've got a very interesting category in our Rocket and Ray Gun Awards for 2019. It is the 2020 game that we are most excited for. We're going to give you our nominees and our winner in a second. But first, let's hear from the community. For the most anticipated game of 2020. Wow. Can you believe it, John? Uh Uh-uh. That's like the future. We're, We're old. I chose The Last of Us Part 2, which is not going to be a family-friendly game. My son will not be joining me in bludgeoning people with bricks or stabbing them through the throats. Yeah, that game looks pretty radical, but I chose Cyberpunk 2077 from the makers of The Witcher, which I love. And also, it's got Neo in it. The 2020 game I'm most excited for? Easy, Last of Us Part 2. I can't wait for Cyberpunk. That is going to be incredible. Can't wait to see what happens with Avengers. Get out there and be a whole bunch of the event. Great. It's Last of Us Part 2. I had played this game, and I could not get over the fact that it is so much more than just the sequel to The Last of Us. I think if you were to say that, you think you understand what you're getting into, you don't. Obviously, you're getting Naughty Dog's uh, world-class storytelling, but the way the game plays, the the expansiveness of the environments and the ability to go out there and approach enemies from different uh, uh, approach points and figure out how you want to attack and what to do and when you know your plan blows up in your face, not fail, run away, lose the enemy, sit there and figure out how am I going to go through this again. I can't wait to go back in this dark world and see where Ellie's story is going to take us and how crazy it's going to get because you know it's going to get dark. The Last of Us Part 2 And while I've never been big on exclusives, even for PS4, I can't deny that The Last of Us Remastered had a beautiful story with environments and characters that I cared about. Joel and Ellie, voiced by Troy Baker and Ashley Johnson, knocked it out of the park. I can't wait to see what's up next with them in part two. 2020 game I'm most excited for is actually pretty easy for me. It's The Last of Us Part 2. I have no idea what to expect, but I think that The Last of Us, the original, was one of the tightest games in terms of uh, pacing in the last year, and the story was absolutely phenomenal. Very few things I can really say bad about it, so it's a no-brainer that I'm waiting for the sequel big time. 2020 game I'm most excited about. If you know me, this is no surprise. It's Last of Us 2. I'm a little nervous about its gratuitous violence, but I trust in Naughty Dog that that will have weight and impact in the story and it will matter and mean something. Man, 2020 has so many good games, it looks like. But right now, the game I'm most excited about, Last of Us 2. What a disgusting year 2020 is turning out to be. There is so many games coming out, not only in the same year, but the same few months. It's going to be just nuts trying to stay on top of it all. There's so many heavy hitters. The two that people are going to be talking about a lot are The Last of Us Part 2 and Cyberpunk 2077. Just for the fact that I'm a little nervous that The Last of Us can't live up to the first one, I'm going to tuck that one aside. So my vote is going to Cyberpunk. There is something about this futuristic, dystopian, Blade Runner-y Cyberpunk world that really speaks to me, so I cannot wait to get into my hands and get lost in that world. The Last of Us 2 I can't wait for. And that would have been my pick for my most important game coming out, save for Half-Life Alex. This could be a game changer. This is Steam committing fully to VR and they're giving us a Half-Life game to boot to launch that. It's gonna be nuts. It's gonna be crazy. It'll be a reason to pick up a headset and I hope to God it delivers. The 2020 game I am most excited to check out, Half-Life Alex. If Valve can stick to an actual schedule and not get sidetracked by Valve time, then Half-Life Alex will be my absolute pick for 2020. I've got a lot of sources in the VR industry and they've been feeding me little bits about the game and the reveal from uh, late 2019 really proved out what my sources were telling me, and that makes me really confident about the stuff I can't quite talk about yet. What I can say is that there's a whole new gravity gloves system which lets you point at things, flick, grab, it's a weird mechanical thing that you're really going to get to sink your teeth into, but there's even more than that. There's a lot of spatial 3D puzzles that are going to be in the game that really answer the question, why isn't this on a game console? Why isn't this on a standard PC? They're really maximizing 3D space in virtual reality with your hands over at Valve in the making of Half-Life. Life Alex, and I think its combination of those 3D specific elements and the combat and storytelling we love about Half Life and have loved for years is going to answer that question. Iron Man VR, because honestly, ever since I saw Iron Man back in 2008 with the Robert Downey Jr. head tracking, I imagined what it looked like in VR, and now, thanks to Ryan Payton and his team at 
camouflage, this is gonna be reality, and I bought a PlayStation VR just to play this in February. The 2020 game that I'm most excited for is Final Fantasy VII Remake. I was really surprised to see what the new battle system looked like, and also glad that they're adding some voice acting in it. I've got to play the demo at E3, and it was absolutely fun. The 2020 game I am most excited about, I can't believe it's actually coming in 2020, is Final Fantasy VII Remake. Every single thing we've seen from this game so far has been pitch perfect. One of my favorite games of all time being remade now seems like a very daunting ask, especially uh, for Square, who last couple of years hasn't put out my favorite games, but everything that they've done for this so far, every single trailer they show, being able to play it at E3, it is more than promising. It looks like it is going to be one of my favorite games of all time. My pick for game I'm most excited for in 2020 is Neo 2. I really like the first Neo. I thought the combat was great. I think Neo 2 is just going to take everything up a notch. Team Ninja has been doing phenomenal work for the past couple of years. I'm a PC player uh, and I got to tell you, I love seeing things come to crossplay. We got a couple new consoles coming out uh, next year. I can't wait to see what they have in store for things like crossplay in, in the future. When I buy a game, I don't want to just be on with PC players. I want Want to be on with whoever wants to play. Mount and Blade 2 Bannerlord. I've really been following this game for the last seven, eight years it's been in development. Over the last three years, it's really picked up its development. They've changed a lot of it. Kingdom building, kingdom management, uh, player management, army management. I don't even think this should be a question and I should even be part of this because I have a clear bias toward Animal Crossing. <laughs> it's clear I cannot wait for this game. I'm going to live in it. I think that's when I'm gonna take some vacation time off of work just so I can live my life, not be distracted. All I wanna do is earn bells and pay back the friggin' nooks. You, you, gotta, you gotta pay back the nooks and um, I'm ready. Okay, here are our nominees for the 2020 game that we are most excited for. Cyberpunk 2077, you knew that would be on the list. The Last of Us 2, Final Fantasy VII Remake, Halo Infinite, and Marvel's Avengers. There's a lot of, I think, nail biting around all of these titles. I think we are all expecting every one of them to be massive and successful and super fun and beautiful, but we don't quite know how they're all gonna turn out. There's some risks being taken, like in the case of Final Fantasy VII being remade, but it's being split up, so they're not doing the entire game, which is a little weird. I almost feel like that might be on the list for 2021 game that we're most excited for because, you know, more of Final Fantasy VII Remake will be coming later on. Very excited about this, though. I played it at E3, and it was very accessible and very fun and fluid and beautiful and a great homage, I think, similarly to the way that Resident Evil 2 honored its previous incarnation, so too does the Final Fantasy VII remake. And I think that Square Enix at this point, they can't drop the ball with that game. It has to be very good. They also have to be very good with Marvel's Avengers. We've been waiting to see Iron Man and Hulk and Thor and Black Widow and lots and lots of other Marvel heroes on screen together in playable form for ages. You can't really choose an action adventure developer with more experience and craftsmanship than Crystal Dynamics. They've got a lot of talent in this department. Their reboots of the Tomb Raider franchise was terrific. They've worked on Legacy of Kane games. They've done a ton of awesome games over the years. Incredibly exciting for me. The Last of Us 2, I can't wait for this game, but I think like a lot of other Last of Us fans, we're all a bit nervous about how Naughty Dog intends to kind of top itself. It feels like an impossible task, but if there's any game company on earth that has the propensity to do that, it is Naughty Dog. Halo Infinite also exists in that realm as well. 343 has made some controversial choices with their handling of Halo in the past, but we do know how important Halo is to Microsoft as a game-making company. We don't know a lot, and I kind of like that it's a little bit mysterious, but I am very, very excited to find out. But the game I think that a huge chunk of us, and that includes yours truly, are very, very excited for is Cyberpunk 2077, not just because Keanu Reeves is in it and he's breathtaking. You're breathtaking! But also because because of the adherence to the source material and trying to create a world of true fidelity and nuance and escapism around every single corner and lots and lots of killer customizable details. I don't think they're gonna drop the ball. I think Cyberpunk is gonna be wonderful, but I think it's gonna be a titch more wonderful when it's on the next generation systems. Can't wait for Cyberpunk 2077. And that is why it is winning our Rocket and Reagan Award for the game that we are most hyped for in 2020. All right, you guys.
guys, we've got a lot of other categories for you to enjoy. They're all separate videos, so, uh, you know, get comfy, curl up with some hot cocoa, and watch all of the vids that we've done for you. We've got all of 2019 as well as all of the categories for the best games of the decade. So check them all out. Thank you so much for watching this video.